today I will be trying on some of my recent Taobao buys. I'm extremely excited for this video, so let's go. This is a nourishing lip serum. It has a thick and almost oil-like texture. It does not have any of the bad stuff. I realized yesterday after looking at their description that this tip is a porcelain tip. Um, I'm not sure if I read that wrong. I am very very particular about lip products. I hate it when lip products have like a cooling feeling or a minty feeling on your lips. And I also absolutely hate the taste or smell of petroleum jelly and this one does not have any of that. If you use this before makeup like I do, it can also help to diminish the appearance of your lip lines so that later on when you put a lip product over your lips would look better and fuller. You can also use it as a lip topper and turn any matte lip into a glossy lip. Moody lenses. I actually bought quite a few more other designs other than these two boxes but I'm just holding these two boxes because I... No! This is a... No, I'm holding the wrong box. I bought a few boxes other than these three but today I want to be these it is called the teenage dream apparently this is a blue lens a periwinkle apparently it's a periwinkle okay because right here it says very peri this is my first time wearing lenses on camera <laughs> it has a diameter of 14.1 cm and water content of 58 these are daily disposable lenses and there are 10 of these in this small little box blue slash purple actually looks pretty obvious and that was exactly what i was going for because i was afraid that the lenses i bought were too everyday like you can't tell any color change because with lenses from chinese brands they tend to lean towards lenses that look very natural very everyday lenses so i'm glad that you can tell immediately that these are blue lenses straight up beauty sponges from the brand Singto uh, I'm not very into these kind of beauty sponges or even like beauty blenders kind of makeup tools in the first place because I don't feel like it will make a difference to my makeup application they provided a container you can use this both wet or dry. Um, I usually don't spend money on these puffs because I feel like any puff will work for me. Um, maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out. It's been quite hot in the Chinese beauty scene for a while. I am almost the last one to get on this bandwagon. It's wet now. <laughs> I don't think you can tell the difference because it looks pretty much the same. The size still remain the same. This one is the wet one, this one is the dry. Apparently this stuff is good because it does not eat up your foundation. We'll find out, man! I'm a primer girl, so today we'll be using this to apply my primer as well because I can't live without primer. I love primer. Today's primer is going to be the Makeup Forever Tone Up Perfect Her? There's no name. Oh, there is. It's called Baby Blue. <laughs> First impressions feels like a normal freaking puff. It's thick, right? So you do need to press your product into your skin. And when you do that, you want to do it in a fast motion. You gotta exert a little bit more force. So... Maybe you'll get used to it in time, but on first impressions, <gasps> mediocre. I don't feel like it's impressive or I don't see the hype in these sponges. And these are pretty expensive. It's like 20 RMB, I think, for two. I can get 20 for like 10. Why would I want to pay 20 for two? Which is why until now I have not gotten down to buying these. This next product I did not buy from Taobao. I bought it from the brick and mortar store. I still have the box here because I can't bear to throw it away. Anyhow, this is what it is. The Chanel foundation. I quite like the, the shade. I feel like this shade is quite pretty on my skin. The consistency is not that watery. It gives a... I, I don't know. I forgot what kind of finish it gives. Hold on, let me check. It gives a luminous finish and it has a beautiful coverage. Okay, like using it now, this product really does... I mean, this sponge really does apply the product pretty evenly on your skin. Oh my god, yeah, you can tell the difference. There is a difference. Like, <laughs> I guess that is why so many people are into these things, huh? Because this thing is too puffy. You want to press into these small areas. You need a little bit more force. But yeah, it does apply the product really nicely. Ooh, okay. I guess I'm a changed person now. I have been convinced by this puff. <laughs> my hand is 
is really tired. Oh my god, damn. 3C8 powder. This is a pretty recent release in the shade Fair. It also comes with a puff so you can fix your makeup on the go. But I prefer to apply it with a brush. I'm not gonna set the cheek area because I want to put concealer on later. I've used it a few times so far. It is pretty okay. I want to try out these eyeliners. The Chinese name for this brand is called Zhi Yu Quan. It is their colorful crayon eyeliner. It actually has almost like a flat tip. It is really great to tight line. This is in a shimmer shade. I bought one in a. Sh <laughs> My fault. This one is in the shade 08. It, it is actually a champagne liner. This is in the shade 3. It is a brown liner. I am personally not a fan of drawing my liner in a crayon, but I guess we're going for a different look today, huh? I don't know. I don't even know how this look will turn out. I'm just winging it. It has been some time since I have drawn with a crayon liner, but... Let's see, what is is it really that great? Color actually gets on pretty easily. My eyelids hurt. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend you use it to draw your wing because just use an eyeshadow with a brush instead because it just tugs at your eye too much and it's just bad for your skin. You can use it to tight line, that will be fine. Put on some of this. I wanna put it on my lower lash line a little bit. I did not intend <laughs> put a champagne shade on my lower lash line because I don't think it will fit this look but I guess we're here it's a bad idea because it will probably tuck at my skin and I just don't want that just going to very very lightly fill in a bit I'm not gonna put everything on because I'm gonna go over with a shadow I guess you can roughly see some of that shimmer can you? hopefully you can why did I not think that it would just be so bad for my skin just roughly do it in like very short and light strokes okay i guess that is it i want to put another shadow over it now today's palette of choice is the zc palette that i wanted to use the last video but i, <laughs> I misplaced it so i couldn't use it i'm just going to use this shade how about that i'm gonna put it over the place where i just drew the champagne on to give it a little more color 3D Highlighting Matte White Powder from Malka Pink. Oh my god, I'm so excited to use this. I touched the powder a little bit yesterday. Oh my goodness, it is so smooth and so silky. Ah, I used this once or twice before, but I just want to use it again here with you because... I don't know, I haven't come to a decision whether I like this or not. Pat it very 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 lightly this whole under eye area will be brought forward i'll be trying out this lash primer i bought this on pintodo but we're still gonna try it out here because why not it is from the brand you kiss it is a very 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 hot lash primer unfortunately i'm not gonna use it on my top lashes because i just don't apply mascara on my top lashes so i'm gonna use it on my bottom lashes comb tip like this there are some fibers as well it's more suitable for doing your top lashes if you do your bottom lashes, it is a little bit harder. Trying the Malka Pink Mascara. I did not intend on getting this at all, but I saw it in the members section where you can exchange your points for this and top up a little bit more. So I decided to go ahead and try it out. It's the Sculpture Lengthening Mascara. <laughs> the crazy thing is that I did not see that it is a lengthening mascara when I bought it. I guess everything is working in my favor. The stars are aligning. Ooh, it is not waterproof. It is fatter in the middle and thinner on the two outer ends. Brush head is a little bit too fat if you're gonna use it on your lower lashes but if you're going to use it on your upper lashes I think it wouldn't be a problem. 3CE new contour. The shade Ash Brown. Gonna start with the darker shade first but I feel like there's something missing. I can't really tell what from this. A little bit of the color is a little bit off. Lighter shade now to contour the bridge of my nose. I feel like it's a little bit too yellow. Or what? There's just something about the shade that I don't really like. I wanna now clean off the lip serum that was on my lips. Matte Lip Cream from the brand You Hue. It kind of has a cloud, very soft blurring kind of formula. It makes your lips look so pretty. This one is an everyday pinkish red shade. After my good experience with it, I went on to Xiaohongshu and I checked out the swatches for this whole shade because I wanted to buy a few more. I realized that, I don't know, maybe it's the swatch videos that the shades did not look pretty. I was like, how come it looks so bad? 
in the swatch video but when I use it, it's pretty. The formula for this itself is also extremely light and comfortable. This one last thing, how can I forget this? Luckily, I saw it. It is right there. I guess everything is in its place because that is my favorite product of this entire video. I've used that so many times because the first time I tried it out, I was so freaking obsessed with it. I used it every day up till now ever since i got it that is how crazy it is An extremely soft and pretty bright pink shade <gasps> oh my god it is supposed to be a fullness shade but i think if your skin tone is darker than mine this will definitely be a brightening and a shade that creates fullness for you but if you have a very pale skin tone like me you use the lightest of all the foundation brands this is just oh my god the top i think this right now is my number one favorite blush out of all the blushes i have it is like right in the middle of that sweet spot of it creating fullness and it being a blush and it just brings the creating fullness and the blush together and it's perfect with this you can just throw all your blue blushes green blushes purple blushes to create fullness away and just use this very subtle and just very very i'm there but i'm not there but i make a great difference kind of product gives so much natural flush to your face but it's all fake it's not too crazy you can layer it on and it will still give this extremely pretty flush it's not exactly a flush it's more of like a, a a cute blush the texture of the powder is also silky smooth and fine i don't think any blush has ever impressed me like this one and i guess it's not only me who feels that way because this shade is always out of stock only recently that they replenished the stock i love Malka pink products i mean the packaging is a little bit tacky but i can totally look past that because whatever is inside oh my god the best i realized that this look is extremely similar to my look from the last video but it is actually similar but not similar because the eyeshadow used is different but the shades used are pretty much similar <laughs> i guess this is just no i still like my previous look better though although i did want to create a look similar to that i guess this is why today's look happened i hope you enjoyed this video i guess this is another format because i just really wanted to try out all these products with you and shout out to my pretty nails I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>